Hey, how is it going my friends? Welcome to another video. This video is gonna be the last one in quite some time, probably around a month or so, because I have final exams coming up, so unfortunately my schedule is pretty busy. But nonetheless, I managed to uh, scrape up some time to make this video. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love you guys and I love the community that has been, you know, made uh, around my channel and around Gothic. So I am much looking forward to the time when I'm done with my exams and everything is over and then I can make more videos. But until then, uh, this is the last one. As for this video, it's all about hidden things and items that you probably missed in your playthroughs. So without further ado, let's get into the video. For the first one, you want to find yourself uh, just outside Sardis's tower. And you want to go down uh, near the bandit's cave. Right, so you're going to climb up here. Right, from this way and follow where I am going. So what we're heading towards is a uh, secret amulet that I believe only spawns when uh, you actually join up with, you know, the militia or the mercenaries or the mages. And um, I say this because the amulet is actually different for each uh, guild. So I am a fire magician right now. Uh, I'm a part of uh, the monastery. So it is an amulet of enlightenment. And it gives, um, it gives 30 health, I think, and 10 mana. Uh, if you're a paladin, it gives plus 10 agility. And if you are a mercenary, it, it gives plus 10 to strength. Um, and so, as I was recording this, I thought this was the only thing that I have to um, show here. But there's a little bonus secret that I actually found just when I was recording the footage for this uh, video. And honestly, I was so amazed. Like... After all these years, Gothic, I still managed to find something that I don't know. Look, at the, there's a short bow and arrows. I mean, absolutely, I cannot believe I have found something that I've never found before. It's incredible. Now I am here near the Black Trolls Cave. And uh, I am close to uh, the secret shrine of the Fire Magicians. Um, this is a hidden spot that all the cool kids know. So all you cool kids out there, cool... Uh, veteran gothic players you know this obviously uh, and it's a little little small cave with skeletons inside it and then a little nice secret in there as well uh, before going in there of course you have to uh, take care of all the security and it's a uh, quite a higher level um, loot if you will because uh, it's guarded by skeletons and uh, uh, some like fallen paladins or something whatever I, something like that Alright, so here we are. That's the place, and as you can see, there's a very shiny thing in the middle of the cave. What might that be? Oh, it's a Dragon Slayer, the second most powerful sword, for free. You get it for free, and you get gold for free. Look, there it is. So that's a really cool secret. Alright, boys, so I'm not sure if i shown this one before or not. Uh, I hope I didn't, because that would, that would be awkward. But anyway, I am near, um, I believe, Akil's farm it is? Yeah, I think it's Akil's farm. So, uh, you want to find yourself on this path, and you're going to want to follow exactly where I'm going. We're taking a little off-road detour, if you will. So here's a militia short sword, and a uh, two rings, actually. One for mana and one for strength, so that's a really nice way to get an edge in the early game. For this one, I'm near uh, the lighthouse, and I'm following the path up the hill. So the first thing you can find here is a um, light crossbow, and some potion, and some gold. So if you're doing a crossbow playthrough, this is uh, your destination where you should definitely visit. And this is not the only thing here. So I'm going to follow the path for quite some time now. I'm going to skip forward a bit. Now, as you can see, there are some spells and a, and a ring as well, which is a ring of astral power, which gives you more mana. But what I'm focusing on here is two scrolls for destroy undead. And the reason why this is actually really cool. Oh, and by the way, there's a King Sorrel right now, right here. Um, so now I'm going to show you why those things, uh, why those scrolls are really awesome in this destination. I believe that the developers put it there for a specific reason, which I'll show now. Because if you go down here, uh, you can probably already see what's going to happen. Um, 
there are some skeletons down there. Uh, two, actually. The exact number as the scrolls you get. So if you want some early game XP, you can come here, get those scrolls. And you can just wreck these skeletons for, for nothing, basically. Just for 10 mana. And you get 600 XP. How awesome is that? Alright, so have you ever wondered where the Thieves' Guild um, treasure is? Because if you have joined the Thieves' Guild, you know that they, um, they said that they have a treasure somewhere. So I'm swimming to that place right now to show you guys where it is. And okay, I know many of you have probably already found it, either by chance or because you were looking. But for those who haven't, it's a pretty nice uh, way to grab yourself some extra gold. Before I proceed any further, what I actually go do, being chased by a million lizards, I pull this lever here, this hidden lever. And if you don't pull it, you're gonna end up dying on these spikes. Uh, so I pulled it, nothing happens to me, and uh, there's the treasure. Keep in mind that uh, only like one of these chests is pick lockable, if that's even a word. As for the rest of them, you need a key, which I'm not going to tell you how to get, because I am evil. This time around, I am inside the woods, um, near Corinus, and we're going to go to this secret cave. You can see the ship over there, so we're really close to Corinus. And the cave we're going to is just a cave with a few bandits. The first few times I played Gothic, I really didn't spot this, so I thought I would add this to the video. You can find yourself a stone tablet, first of all. So here we are, there's the cave, and there's a bandit already waiting to cut my throat. Not today, boy. Have you ever wanted to open this gate? I sure have. For the first couple playthroughs, I had no idea how to open this thing. I thought it was unopenable. I thought it was just a case display thing. But actually, there's a button. There was a button there all along, stupid. And now, ta-da, it opened. I didn't know this for so long. By the way, don't don't mind my own dead body on the floor. Uh, I mean, I didn't know this for so long and it was right there the whole time. I mean, that's kind of embarrassing. All right, now we're gonna be raiding Lobart's farm. We're gonna take all his possessions and all the money in his house. Just kidding, but uh, we are actually taking like almost all the money on his farm. Uh, you want to find yourself in this uh, shack. That's probably where the workers sleep and look leather satchel And then you go to the left and look leather satchel again. It must be your lucky day But there's more and uh, by the way, this is from another video that I did called all secrets in the beginning I think that's what I called it lol, uh, but uh, Yeah, go check that video out as well. Here's a pickaxe. It's your first two-handed weapon other than that rusty axe, but you can't even wield that, so what's the point? For this last one, we're on Skip's little beach. And, uh... Ah, oh, this is such a lazy one, I'm sorry guys, but, uh... I don't know, maybe some of you never thought of swimming any further, because it seems like there's nothing there. Uh, but actually... 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 There is something there. So there's a uh, one beach... For, I mean, first beach... Right here. Uh, it has some stuff on it. It's got some clams. I think you can find, you know, some some things to sell over there. I don't really remember if I, if there's much on this one. But if you swim further down to the next one, there's a shipwreck. And there's actually a stone tablet there, as well as a chest which you can pick lock. And there are lizards for XP, so I mean, not bad. I hope some... Maybe one of maybe one of the viewers on this video hasn't swam this far, and this is like mind blowing for them. But yeah, uh, there there it is. There's a shipwreck, and you've got your tablet on the other side. Welcome back to footage of me killing random things in the Valley of Mines. If you have watched up until this point, you are a legend, and I thank you very much for watching this video because you, sir. Or madam, I highly doubt it though, uh, are keeping the community alive, keeping the gothic community alive. And for that I thank you because gothic is very dear to my heart. I appreciate everyone who watches and uh, yeah, that's, all, that's about it. <laughs> See you in a month or something. Bye.